Hi everyone, welcome to March Empties. I have a lot to get through, so let's get started. The first thing is the Downy Unstoppables for the laundry, and I'm probably one of the few people in the world that I didn't mind this, but I really don't feel it did anything for my laundry, so I will not be repurchasing it. You open this up and there's little beads inside and you pour it into your washer. I noticed some scent, but it really didn't add or do a lot. Maybe it's the flavor that I got, which is lush, that I didn't care for, but whatever the reason is, I won't be repurchasing it. Two more items before we get to the shower. One is my Mauna Lauren. If you haven't seen it, I've got a video on this. It's why we never get sick. We absolutely swear by it. Uh, my Bosch & Lomb contact lenses. I told the story of how I was going to a very expensive optometrist because I have a very bad stigmatism and my girlfriend persuaded me to go over to Sam's Club and I think both Sam's and Costco have great optometrists and somebody pointed out on here that you can usually take your prescription from your existing optometrist and get it filled for a much more reasonable price at Sam's or Costco. My optometrist would not give me my prescription so I switched completely and I'm extremely happy. I've been going to him for I don't know, I'm so bad with time, six or seven years. And my prescription has changed many times. It's always spot on. He does a wonderful job. So highly recommend getting your contacts at Sam's or Costco. Now on into the shower. I swear by my Wilkinson's disposable blades. We travel a lot, so it's great because I don't care if I leave them in hotel rooms, which is how I started using these, but I love them so much. I've gotten rid of my regular razors because the blades are so astronomically expensive. I think I pay three dollars there's only eight in here there used to be more for less money they always do that but it's still a fabulous deal and of course me being me i have to experiment and i saw these at the dollar store which are a pack of 10 called persona do not recommend these ow 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 <laughs> i got such bad razor burn i only used one I am throwing the rest away. Horrible, horrible experience. I am so going back to my Wilkinsons. <laughs> Learned my lesson the hard way. So I did two samples of um, hydrating masks. This is the Moroccan oil one. It was okay. It, I wasn't displeased with it, but I wouldn't rush out and buy it. And then I did the hair chemist macadamia oil. Oh my goodness, do I love this one. And I went out immediately and bought a tub of this. This is a new line that Sally's is starting to carry and I will let you know after I've used a whole tub because then it's more objective than just a little sample. But based off of this, I was extremely impressed with it. So I used up a pack of my gum dental picks that you put in between each teeth that I get at the Dollar Tree store. Apparently a lot of dentists are recommending these nowadays. Some people have told me that their husbands went to the dentist and they got recommended these. Go to the Dollar Tree, your gums will thank you. They will be so healthy and the hygienist will also comment on how healthy your gums are. I went through another dazzling white whitening pan. I know there's a lot of expensive alternatives out there, a dollar, at the Dollar Tree store or your 99 cent store, most places of the dollar stores carry these. Fantastic. I've got a video, if you haven't seen it, I'll link to it on how I do my routine to give this an extra boost uh, through another product. And it's amazing. I have some paid for whitening kits from my Zoom treatment with my dentist. I haven't used them. I'm still using these. I've used those and then I didn't like them as much as this. So definitely recommend those whitening pens. The next thing is some dry shampoos. I used last month, I think it was, a Not Your Mother's uh, dry shampoo and I really enjoyed it and I said that that would be the threshold for me for others to beat. Then I used Psst, and it was very nice. It was a little powdery and strong when it comes out of the can and it has a scent but it wasn't objectionable it just wasn't as good in my opinion as my not your mother's so that was the one that I was looking for others to beat so then I did a suave boy did it make the psst look good <laughs> the suave was for me 
horrible. Now, if you're a younger girl with a lot more oils in your hair, you would probably love this because it will dry your hair out. For me, not having really oily hair anymore, it made my hair like straw. It was very, very powdery, very chemically, and it absolutely dried my hair out. Will not be repurchasing. In fact, this one is not empty, but I am happily letting it go. <laughs> My Cher deodorant, I swear by this. It keeps me dry in Arizona heat. We're probably about 85 today. I will never perspire. It does leave white marks. I'm gonna do a video on how to deal with that, but absolutely love and swear by this. I went through a Sally's cream bleach. I bleached my eyebrows. I don't know if anybody wants me to do a video on that. If so, let me know. But as a blonde, I don't think it looks very good to have dark eyebrows, so definitely swear by this. Uh, facial wash, did not like this at all. Will not be using it, not repurchasing it. It just did not, it was very gentle, but too gentle. It didn't break down my makeup. It was like rubbing it on top of my makeup, and then when I washed my face off, all of the makeup was still there. Patty or Tanya or somebody else told me about getting, that I bought the wrong kind of cotton rounds at the Dollar Tree. I bought these. Can you guys tell me if these are the right ones? These aren't bad. They're a little hard around the edges of the squares. I'm sorry for the noise. Ozzy's in the leaves back there. Um, they're a little hard around the edges, but they aren't bad. Anyhow, I'd be interested from you guys because there's several different kinds at the Dollar Tree if these are the ones that you purchase or not. Uh, vitamin E cream. Uh, it's a facial cream. I liked it. It wasn't anything amazing. It definitely was good, but I have others that I enjoy more, so I probably will not be repurchasing that. So now we're gonna get into the masks. I was a masking fiend this month. Crazy Miss Tammy, you'd be so proud of me. <laughs> I did a whole bunch of these little um, Freeman's sample packs, and I really enjoy them. I love discovering all of the different ones. And so those were very enjoyable. And then what I discovered that I am so tickled about at my dollar store, they have masks. Somebody told me about these. And actually these are not at my Dollar Tree. They're at a new 99 cent store that opened up near us. And these each have two in them. So you're getting two masks for 50 cents. The one has aloe and cucumber in it. The other has natural herb and pomegranate. And I love these masks. You open them up, you put them on. I scared Mark one night, he'd never seen me in these. And it's so hydrating and so beautiful. And Crazy Miss Tammy says you can reuse these, so you just fold them back up. These have a lot of moisture in them. And if you want, you can do these before you go to bed and leave them. In the morning, I sometimes put these on while I'm doing my hair and leave it on for five or 10 minutes and then peel it off and then proceed to let it just soak in a little bit and put on all my moisturizers and do my normal makeup with this on. It's really moisturizing, it's really nice. So much so that I used to have acne and oiliness in my T-zone. It was borderline, it didn't get me back that far, but I started having that much moisture and oils in my skin. Swear by these for, two for a dollar that you reuse, you absolutely cannot go wrong. So go check out your dollar store for that. <clears throat> two boos from the dollar store. I spend a lot there of things that I don't like are the anti-puff and dark circle eye mask. It's supposed to smooth out puffiness. I don't really think that it did anything. And then this anti-wrinkle gel patch, you were supposed to leave on overnight. I woke up and I had red marks under my eye and really had to do some work to make it presentable so I could go out that day. Definitely will not be repurchasing either one of those. Either think they didn't agree with my skin or didn't do anything. Okay, this is something I'm sure I'm gonna get booed out of town for. I do nail polish on my toes and it stays on there for ages and I really have to scrub to get it off and get my toenails nice and clean before I put on the next nail polish. I use from Home Depot pure acetone and put it into my nail polish remover bottle and that's what I refill it with and love it. Gets it off like nobody's business. It works for me. We traveled a lot this month. I love going through samples. 
Uh, this is one of my Frognard samples and it doesn't say on there which one it is but it was okay. It isn't one that I'm going to be purchasing from them, but I do enjoy using their samples and I always use something different when we travel. So that's always a lot of fun. So I'm going to get into the makeup now. I want people to tell me, do you use these sponges? And if so, what do you use them for? I have a whole bag of them sitting under my sink. I tried using them for my foundation, for my under eye. I'm thinking maybe these are garbage because of the Beauty Blender, which is so fantastic. And if you want me to do a review comparing Beauty Blender, Real Technique sponge, and a TJ Maxx sponge, I'm more than happy to do that. But if anybody has any suggestions for these, I don't know what to use them for because I think we just have such better tools now that we use for our makeup. So let me know if you have an idea for that. So for the makeup, I am letting go of some things. I need you guys to make sure I do not purchase any more LA colors. I do not like LA colors. This was, what I thought was a nice coral lipstick, a lip gloss, and a lip pencil. Well, the lipstick comes off orange, not coral, orange, like a little child's crayon orange. This is not anything I will be wearing in my lifetime. So this is all getting chucked out. I just did not care for any of that. And then another LA Colors is this liner, uh, black eyeliner. It goes on okay, but it smudges like crazy. It goes on kind of patchy, I guess, and it's just not one that I'm gonna be keeping. And then another one that I'm letting go of is this old Clinique lip gloss, and it's just used up and dry and not one that I'm gonna be keeping. Now, I kind of consider this one used up. It's a CoverGirl eyeshadow, it's a quad. I really liked it. I haven't used up the darkest color. I've used up all the other ones and I have a very similar palette to this that's also a quad. So I'm comfortable in letting this one go. It's served me well. <laughs> um, I used up my NYC um, highlighting stick. I've got my contouring video of how I use this. Absolutely love it, swear by it. Have already repurchased it and probably have another backup. <laughs> My L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, love it, have used it up. It's time for a new one. I'm trying to be good Kristen game and letting go of it every quarter. So <laughs> I've already opened up a new telescopic and love it. And my Carmex, I love this stuff. For me, it is not addictive. I put it on every once in a while at night just to have really smooth lips, especially if I think of it, if I'm wearing a color like I am today, helps you to not have any, you know, scabs or cracking or anything that is unsightly that's going to get highlighted by the lipstick. So I really like Carmex. So that's it for the empties. Thank you so much. I always appreciate you watching. I hope that maybe you found a couple products that are of interest to you or got some ideas out of this. I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll talk to you next time.